A dozen new AI tools launched this week. But here's the thing. Most of them are just noise. I've spent hours testing and tracking what actually matters. And one story this week could fundamentally change how we access information online. Plus, OpenAI is quietly building something behind the scenes that's going to surprise you. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts. Click the newsletter link in the description for weekly analysis delivered straight to your inbox. So in this video, I'm breaking down the five AI developments from this week that you actually need to know about. No fluff, no hype, just the stories that are genuinely going to impact how you use these tools, whether you're a creator, a professional, or just someone trying to stay informed in this rapidly evolving space. And I promise, by the end of this video, you'll understand exactly why these developments matter and how they might change your workflow in ways you haven't even considered yet. First up, let's talk about Elon Musk's latest move that's got everyone in the tech community buzzing. Grokopedia. When AI takes on Wikipedia, Elon Musk just launched something that's been in the works for months, and it's exactly as controversial as you'd expect. It's called Grokopedia, and it's his answer to what he sees as Wikipedia's bias problem. Now, before you roll your eyes, hear me out, because this is actually pretty fascinating from a technical standpoint, even if you're skeptical about the motivation behind it. Here's what makes Grokopedia different. Instead of relying on thousands of human editors meticulously crafting and fact-checking every single article like Wikipedia does, Grokopedia uses XAI's Grok to automatically generate, edit, and fact-check content. We're talking about an AI-generated encyclopedia that writes itself, at least for now. Musk is calling it a truth-first knowledge engine, which is a bold claim considering how subjective truth can be, especially when you're talking about controversial topics. Now here's where it gets interesting. Early users who've tested Grokopedia have had wildly different reactions. On one hand, people are genuinely impressed by the speed. You can ask Grokopedia about incredibly niche topics, things that might not even have Wikipedia articles yet, and it'll generate a comprehensive entry almost instantly. That's actually pretty remarkable when you think about how long it takes for Wikipedia articles to be written and vetted by the community. But, and this is a big but, Several testers noticed something suspicious. When they compared Grokopedia articles to existing Wikipedia content, they found striking similarities. We're not talking about paraphrasing here. Some articles appeared to be nearly identical to Wikipedia's versions, which raises some serious questions about originality, sourcing, and whether Grokopedia is actually solving the problems Musk claims it's addressing, or just repackaging existing information with an AI wrapper. Despite the skepticism, and there's plenty of it, this could genuinely reshape how people access verified information online. The vision here is that Grokopedia becomes a self-correcting encyclopedia that evolves in real time, powered by XAI's continuous learning systems. Instead of waiting for human editors to update articles when news breaks, the system would theoretically update itself instantly, merging real-time AI analysis with conversational sourcing. Whether it can actually rival Wikipedia's decades of community-driven accuracy? That's the million-dollar question. But love him or hate him, you can't deny that Musk keeps pushing boundaries in his expanding AI ecosystem. And speaking of pushing boundaries, let me tell you what OpenAI is working on that nobody's really talking about yet. OpenAI's secret music project. So OpenAI has been pretty quiet about this. But according to the information, they're building something that could completely change the music creation landscape. We're talking about a text and audio prompt tool specifically designed to generate custom soundtracks and instrumentals. Think D-A-L-L-E, but for music. Now, this is where the timing gets really interesting. You might have heard about Suno, that AI music app that's been making waves. Well, it turns out, Suno just quadrupled its annual recurring revenue to a staggering $150 million. Let that sink in for a second. $150 million in annual recurring revenue from an AI music tool. That tells you everything you need to know about how hungry the market is for this kind of technology. So OpenAI sees these numbers, sees companies like Suno and Udio absolutely crushing it in the AI music space, and they're thinking, we need to get in on this. And honestly, 
it makes perfect sense. ChatGPT already does text brilliantly. It generates images through D-A-L-L-E, and now they want to complete the creative trifecta by adding music to the mix. Here's what makes this potentially game-changing. The tool they're building isn't just about generating random music. It's designed to create background scores that match your videos or compose instrumentals that complement vocal tracks you already have. Imagine you're a content creator and you describe the mood and energy you want for your video's background music. The AI generates it, you tweak it a bit through conversation, and boom, you've got a custom soundtrack that's exactly what you need without spending hours searching through royalty-free music libraries or paying for expensive licensing. The really exciting part, assuming this launches as expected, is that it'll likely integrate directly into the CHATGPT ecosystem. That means you could be working on a project, chatting with ChatGPT about it, and then seamlessly generate, edit, and remix music without ever leaving the platform. For musicians, video creators, and brands, this could usher in a completely new era of fast, affordable, and rights-clear music creation. But wait, because this next story is probably the most practical one for anyone watching this video. Claude just made a move that's going to change how millions of people work with spreadsheets. Claude invades your spreadsheets. Anthropic just unveiled something that honestly feels like the future of productivity tools. And if you work with Excel regularly, you need to pay attention to this. They've launched Claude for Excel, and it's currently available in beta as a research preview. What this means is that Claude, the powerful AI assistant, now lives directly inside Microsoft Excel as a sidebar. Let me explain why this is such a big deal. You can now chat with Claude right there in your spreadsheet. You're not copying data out, pasting it into ChatGPT, then copying the results back. No, Claude can directly read your spreadsheets, analyze your data, modify your workbooks, and even create entirely new ones based on your instructions, all without you ever leaving Excel. This is positioning Claude as a true productivity companion, especially for people working in finance and analytics. Think about the workflows this enables. You can ask Claude to summarize complex data sets, generate charts and visualizations, automate complicated formulas that would normally take you hours to figure out, and clean up messy spreadsheets that have been cobbled together over months or years. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Anthropic isn't stopping at basic Excel integration. They're rolling out an entire set of new skills and connectors specifically designed for finance professionals. These are purpose-built tools for handling complex data sets, generating reports, and tackling the kind of analysis that usually requires specialized knowledge and hours of manual work. Now, this integration obviously mirrors Microsoft's own Copilot approach. Microsoft has been pushing Copilot hard across all their Office products, but Claude brings something different to the table, specifically its conversational reasoning capabilities and Anthropic's strong focus on enterprise privacy and security. For companies that are nervous about sending sensitive financial data through AI tools, those privacy guarantees matter a lot. By embedding directly into one of the world's most used business tools, Anthropic is making a clear statement. They're not just competing in the general AI assistant space. They want to be central to how people actually work every single day. And speaking of making work easier, Google just dropped something that sounds almost too simple to be true. Google's vibe coding changes everything. Google just rolled out a feature in AI Studio that has such a casual name, you might not realize how powerful it actually is. They're calling it vibe coding, and yes, that's the official name. But don't let the laid-back branding fool you. This is making it easier than ever to build sophisticated multimodal AI applications from simple text prompts. Here's what's revolutionary about this update. Before vibe coding, if you wanted to build an AI application that could handle text, images, and audio together, you'd need to work with multiple APIs, figure out how they all connect, manage the integration complexity, and probably spend days just getting everything to talk to each other properly. It was technically possible, but it was a headache. Now, with Vibe Coding, you can generate functional AI-powered apps that blend all those capabilities, text, images, and audio, all within a single interface. You describe what you want to build, and the system generates a working prototype. 
Google has also redesigned their app gallery to showcase community-built examples so you can see what's possible and get inspiration for your own projects. And they've added this I'm feeling lucky button, which is such a Google thing to do that helps spark new ideas when you're not sure where to start. Plus, they've made API key integration completely seamless, so developers can connect their custom models without any technical friction. The entire experience is designed around making AI creation as intuitive as writing a sentence. But wait, because there's more to this story. French startup Mistral has entered the exact same space with its own AI studio. Mistral is focused specifically on helping enterprises build applications using their open source models. This is a direct challenge, not just to Google's tool chain, but also to OpenAI's entire GPT ecosystem. What we're seeing here is the democratization of AI development accelerating faster than anyone predicted. The barrier to entry for creating sophisticated AI applications is dropping so rapidly that pretty soon, the limiting factor won't be technical knowledge, it'll be imagination. And speaking of surprising developments, let me share a few shorter stories that are worth your attention. Beyond the headlines, three stories you need to hear. ChatGPT saves a life. This story went viral on Reddit this week, and it sparked an intense debate about AI's role in healthcare. A user posted that ChatGPT correctly diagnosed their mother's life-threatening infection, something that multiple doctors had initially overlooked. The family described the symptoms to ChatGPT, and the AI identified a condition that prompted them to seek urgent medical attention. According to the post, that intervention saved her life. Now this has reignited conversations about AI's growing role in healthcare, and honestly, it's complicated. On one side, you have people praising AI's diagnostic potential, pointing to stories like this as evidence that these tools can catch things humans might miss. On the other side, experts are rightfully warning about over-reliance on non-professional medical advice. The consensus from medical professionals is pretty clear. While ChatGPT and similar tools can help identify possible conditions and provide useful information for preliminary research, they should never, ever replace actual licensed medical evaluation. Think of AI as a supplement to professional healthcare, not a substitute. It's a powerful tool for gathering information and asking better questions, but it's not a doctor, and it shouldn't be treated as one. OpenAI teaches ChatGPT emotional intelligence. OpenAI has quietly made an upgrade to ChatGPT that might seem small, but is actually incredibly significant. They've trained the model to better recognize and respond to signs of mental distress. This update incorporated feedback from over 170 mental health experts which is a massive undertaking. What this means in practice is that ChatGPT is now more sensitive to emotional cues in conversations. It's better at providing safe, supportive responses when someone might be struggling, and it's less likely to give harmful or dismissive answers to people who are clearly in distress. OpenAI is very clear that ChatGPT isn't a replacement for therapy or professional mental health support, but this improvement marks a genuine step forward in AI safety and human-centered design. As these tools become more integrated into our daily lives, making sure they respond appropriately to vulnerable users isn't just nice to have, it's essential. Amazon's AI automation wave. And finally, Amazon announced plans to cut over 14,000 jobs globally as part of a major restructuring to accommodate AI-driven automation. This is one of those stories that really crystallizes what's happening across the entire tech industry right now. These layoffs are part of Amazon's broader initiative to streamline workflows and reduce overlap as machine learning tools take over functions in logistics, human resources, and data operations. The executives framing this as a move toward boosting efficiency and long-term profitability amid rapid AI adoption. This is the reality of the AI transformation we're living through. It's not some distant future scenario. It's happening right now and it's affecting real people and real jobs. Companies are making calculated decisions about where AI can replace human work, and they're moving fast. For everyone watching this, whether you're excited about AI or worried about it, the message is clear. 
the time to adapt, to learn these tools, and to figure out how to work alongside AI rather than compete against it, that time is now. So those are the five AI stories from this week that actually matter. From Musk's controversial Grokopedia to OpenAI's music ambitions, from Claude's Excel invasion to Google's vibe coding revolution, and the real-world impacts we're seeing in healthcare, mental health, and employment, this is AI moving from concept to reality at breakneck speed. If you found this breakdown helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button. It genuinely helps more people discover these videos. And if you want to stay on top of AI developments without the hype and noise, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'm breaking down the stories that matter every single week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.